The emergency department is the front door to the hospital. So our recognition of someone who requires intervention in a quick and timely fashion is vitally important, perhaps for that person's life. St. Francis Hospital is a level one trauma center. We see highly acutely injured patients. Um, we see patients who are having heart attacks, who have sepsis, um, who have strokes. At Mercy Medical Center, stroke care is one of our strong points. We've received gold star status. So even though we're a community hospital, we actually have many more services than a, like a standard small community hospital that you know, might be more, more isolated. St. Mary's Hospital sees approximately 15,000 children per year, one of the highest community-based pediatric volumes in the state. At Johnson Memorial, we have patients that come to us from all over the uh, northern part of the state, even from southern Massachusetts. We have dedicated uh, physicians and advanced practice providers that are truly interested in taking care of the patients in the community setting. If you look at our volume within the four hospitals, we're caring for nearly 200,000 patients per year through our departments. Um, that's an incredible number of patients that are, that are coming to us and, and seeking help. Trinity Health and New England Mobile Healthcare really is an extension of our emergency departments. We run a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week emergency dispatch center where our trained telecommunicators receive 911 calls, provide emergency medical dispatching, which is pre-arrival instructions to 911 callers while our EMTs and paramedics are responding to their needs. We're licensed for 23 ambulances, 10 wheelchair vans, and eight paramedic intercept vehicles. I think the interesting piece of working as part of a, a collaborative region is it, it provides access to resources that uh, may not normally be available to somebody. One capability we recently deployed is opening a mobile health station at our Johnson Memorial Campus. Occasionally our patients require a rapid transfer to a tertiary center, whether it's for an acute stroke, acute heart attack. So getting the ambulance there to transport them can be time critical. Oftentimes, the care we're delivering isn't necessarily in response to an acute illness or injury. There's social needs that we're helping solve and meet to help people stay out of the healthcare system. Our emergency departments had integrated for almost 20 years a hospital violence intervention program. We embed a community health worker within our emergency department to serve as a liaison to help prevent further violence down the line, prevent recidivism of injuries, um, and ultimately hope to save some lives. We have the Stop the Bleed program where we go into the community and teach them basic first aid to at least temporize bleeding. We have the gun buyback program. We are active in decreasing drunk driving fatalities. And we are very active in helping our homeless get shelter and the care they need. Having the opportunity to grow and work with our Trinity Health Mobile Services will provide us a great opportunity to ensure that our care will be more efficient for certain patient populations. The team in the field, if you will, will help the patients to ensure that if they need to come to the hospital, they'll get to the hospital. And those who do not, that opportunity to provide some education in the field of how to check a finger stick or blood pressure checks, ensuring compliance with medications. We know the emergency departments are there 24 hours a day, seven days a week, they are the beacon uh, of light when people need help. One, two, three. The challenge is our emergency departments are facing the sickest of the sick and also trying to serve the non-emergent needs of folks who have no other means of health care. They don't know where else to go or where else to turn. Mobile health care is uniquely positioned to deliver that level of service and care along with those wraparound services where the patient is to help decrease the impact on our emergency departments. What's nice about emergency medicine is that you make an impact on people's lives every day. We see our patients as mothers, daughters, fathers, sons, grandparents. You know, our goal is to get to know them. Our team in emergency services, from the physicians and the nurses and the techs to all the, all the specialists, really focus not only on our patients and specifically why they're here, but how we're going to help to get them out of the hospital to go back to what it is they'd rather be doing. And I just think of all the wonderful, great things that we can do and provide our community with resources for pre-hospital care as well as emergency care that is of the highest caliber that we all know that our hospitals all provide. I am very proud of the services that we deliver the work that our teams do, the collaboration, the support, 
and the teamwork that goes into serving the needs, both emergent and non-emergent needs, of our communities each and every day.